Namaste and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, thank you so much for being here today and supporting our wonderful contestants and the whole Missy Nepal team. Wow, it's already been two years that I had this prestigious title of Missy Nepal. I must say, time has flown quickly, but the most important part is I got the golden chance to learn and experience numerous things. September 9, 2012, that day, it was the last day for me as a contestant of Miss Nepal 2012. But a new beginning as a reigning Miss Nepal, as an ambassador for my Nepali community, and as a voice of the unheard ones. I knew I was heading towards a new journey of my life that came along with this crown that I'm wearing at this very moment. To describe this journey, I would like to say it was an exciting, adventurous, equally motivating at all stages, and above of all, it was truly meaningful and a life-changing experience. The opportunities that came along with this crown, it was priceless, and I cannot thank God enough for it. Starting with Beauty with Purpose, it was a charity event and a joint event from all the contestants of Missy Nepal 2012, and it was a wonderful chance for all of us to do something for the underprivileged children of our country and to make a move to improve the quality of life. This title suddenly has opened a lot of doors for me, from embracing the front cover of Greenwich Times to being an ambassador of CYS. The whole experience was just incredible. Whenever I organized an event or went to an event or asked for help, there was unwavering support from everyone. And I don't think I would have been able to go to Nepal to do all the projects that I carried out in different villages or to conduct a health camp where it was never done before or to be on top of three highest mountains of the UK with breast cancer campaign. And I'm grateful to each and every one of you. Whenever people see a beauty queen, they often think it's all about glitters and glamour. But actually, because of this title, I was able to get beyond that, to see the true picture of how much people are less fortunate than we are in so many ways. And I was able to realize that how lucky I am to live the life I'm living today. I learned to appreciate. Thank you. I learned to appreciate the little things that I have in my life and to share the ones, share with the ones who are even happy to get a small part of it. And in that context, I want to share a small story with all of you. When I went to CYF to distribute the unwanted clothes that we had collected during Gorka Club, the smile I saw in those children's faces was so pure and priceless. For us, it was something that we buy, we wear, and throw it. But for them, that one single cloth meant so much and their heart was filled with gratitude. 